Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. Today is a little bit different. We're doing skin. So this could be a base for makeup or it could just be a pamper your sale day. It is Tuesday, so it's tutorial Tuesdays, but it's not a makeup tutorial this time. It's a skincare tutorial because a few of you did ask, so I listened and I gave. So I'm here. Got my hair up, I've got my brand new dressing gown on that I got for Christmas. I've changed up the background a little bit because why not? New year, new me, you know, you know. Mm? 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 If you prefer the other one, just let me know because I'm not fast. I quite like this though. This this feels more this feels more professional. I'm on a chair, there's some ornaments. If you haven't already, please click subscribe. I would appreciate that a lot. And if you want to know how to get this glowy look, then please keep watching. Now, I am no dermatologist. I'm no skin expert. I am actually pretty new to the consistent skin routine. Um, I would say when I turned 25, which is about eight, nine months ago, um, I read somewhere that when you turn 25, you really need to start looking after your skin. So, I did. <laughs> and yeah, I definitely noticed the difference by, you know, identifying when your skin needs something. My skin changes all the time depending on the weather. It can go dry, it can go oily, I can break out. So it really just depends on what mood my skin is in. That will depend on what products and what routine I will do. I don't have a sink here, obviously. This isn't a bathroom. So I'll just talk you through the products, I think, and then use them. And you can judge, this is my skin. It's nighttime, my skin is a bit oily. Uh, I do have some leftover Vaseline on my lips because they're so dry right now. Um, but yeah, this is my end of day skin and I'm gonna prep it for nighttime. Obviously I don't have any makeup on. If I did have makeup on, I would only, I would still do the same routine. I would just cleanse twice or let's just go through it, we'll go through it. Okay, so if I had makeup on, I would do one of two things. I would use my simple micellar cleansing water. I would just use a cotton pad, soak that with this and just take the most product off with that. If I can't find any cotton pads or I can't find this or I don't know, I always have wipes lying around. Any kind of wipes I really use. These are Tesco Kind and Pure Cleansing Facial Wipes. I quite like the Primark ones. I don't go heavy expensive on them. I don't know, if you guys would suggest increasing my spending on wipes, then let me know. To me, a wipe is a wipe and if it's like today and I don't have any makeup on, I wouldn't wipe or use micellar water. Micellar? What the hell is it? Micellar or micellar? 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 I wouldn't use the wipes or the micellar, micellar, micasa, micasa. I would just go straight on in with my cleanser. So at the moment, I'm using the La Roche Posay cleanser. This is the Effaclar. Creme Hydratant Dermo Soothing Hydrating Cleansing Cream. <laughs> that is a mouthful. It look like this. I like to do a lot of research into cleansers. Cleansers, number one tip I would have for cleansing is to cleanse for at least one minute, one to two minutes even. That's why you spend money on cleansers. You, loads of people are like why would I spend so much money on a cleanser, they all do the same thing and they're only on my face for 10 seconds while I take my makeup off. Really with a cleanser you should be massaging it into your face for at least one minute. That would probably be my number one tip. I definitely noticed the biggest difference when I started doing that, when I started really using a cleanser the way a cleanser is meant to be used. This one is kind of good for redness and things. I get, um, I'm a, I'm a ginge, so I get rosy cheeks and the, my rosiness does seem to make its way down instead of just staying where it's meant to be. 
So I do tend to go for products that have anti-redness. Not that like I don't have rosacea or even acne or anything, but I do feel that an anti-redness product can help. I do notice it gets worse in cold weather or in warm weather, so it's pretty sensitive to like atmosphere changes and I feel that a product that says it's for sensitive skin or it says it's for redness does make a difference to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go use this. I will just damp my face with cold to lukewarm water. Well, I don't have any makeup on so I'll just use one pump and then I'll massage that in for one minute and rinse that off and I will be right back. Hi! So I don't know if you can see but my face is still wet because the next step I'm going to do is a fairly new step I've incorporated into my routine but it is a pure hyalur hyaluronic hyaluronic acid it's by the brand I think they're pronounced just youth but it's spelled a little bit differently it looks like this and basically it says to keep your face damp don't dry it and then apply this product to a damp face so I take two pumps and then I just massage that into my damp face. Now, you correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure hyaluronic acid is what you get pumped into your lips when you get your lips done. So how that works is that the reason why your lips go big is because hyaluronic acid absorbs water and retains water. So I'm guessing the theory behind keeping your face damp and then putting this serum on is that it absorbs and retains the water into your skin. I'm, that's my guess. I don't know that for sure, but that would be my assumption. I have tried other hyaluronic acids. I've tried the ordinary one and it is good, but it does go a lot more sticky than this one. Um, although it is a bit cheaper so I don't know if on a budget then maybe the other one but I would say this one leaves a much nicer consistency on my face and just keep rubbing it in until it's absorbed if you can see it just leaves a nice a nice shine a nice it gives it's it's basically a shot of hydration for your skin and it retains that moisture in your skin as well which in this weather who doesn't need that okay right so I kind of change up the order I put products on so because my face is still a little bit damp I'm gonna go in with my next product it's a toner but it's called um I don't know how to pronounce this Madicus Suicide Blue Toner it's Korean <laughs> it looks like this now I don't always use this toner because it actually does have, I think, whitener in it. It is in Korean so I'm not entirely sure. I had rave reviews about how it did really good things for redness in the skin so I got it and I liked it. But it is strong. I did use it, I think, like four days in a row and my skin did sting so it definitely does have something strong in it. So if you have really sensitive skin I maybe wouldn't recommend this but yeah I really like this and I put my hyaluronic acid on first because it wants me to do that with damp skin so that's what I do. That's what I do. I don't know if it's right. That's what I do. Loads of people put toner on with a cotton pad. I just think a cotton pad I'll do it with the micellar water because I don't really have a choice. But I think just adding a, something else that has germs and something else to irritate your skin is just something else to irritate your skin. I, obviously my hands are clean because I've just cleansed my face. So I just like to put the product in my hand. I put three shakes and just rub it in my hands and then just press it on my skin. Now if you're a gin lover, that's what this toner smells like. It smells like gin. Now I don't know if that's a good thing. I feel like that means it's very strong and alcoholic. That's why I would recommend probably only using it once, twice maximum a week. 
It is a exfoliating cleanser, so that's why I didn't exfoliate my face. I do go between, you know, using exfoliating toner and using an exfoliating, like a, a manual exfoliator. I use the Dermalogica Skin Prep Scrub. But yeah, I just switch them about. I just do what I feel. And there's no rules. I mean, there is rules, kind of, but I just do what I want. It's fun. It's self-care at the end of the day. It's not... It's not supposed to be a drag. Now, obviously I don't always do what I'm going to do next, but because I'm doing a skincare video, I will do everything. These are green seaweed tightening eye masks. I just got these on Amazon, I think. They were pretty cheap. You get quite a lot in there. It comes with... So you can probably take this off now. It comes with a little spoon. <laughs> I think I'm just a sucker for packaging really. Comes with a little spoon and you take the lid off. And they are really delicate so you do need the spoon especially if you've got nails and you pick them up. And carefully place them under your eyes. Well, 10 to 15 minutes, then remove them and gently press around the eye until the remaining essence is absorbed. So we're going 0 to 100 because as well as eye masks, I'm doing a mask mask. This is a black tissue charcoal detox facial mask. It's anti-blemish, it's revitalizing and it's purifying. It's got charcoal and hyaluronic acid. It looks like this. I always pick up masks all the time. I just pick them up when I see them. I have so many different types of masks. Um, I'm still kind of trying out what's best for my skin, so I pick up tons of different ones. But I have used this one before and I do know I like it. I did hear great things about charcoal for the skin and for your gut and stuff, so... Oh. Bah. So it's a sheet mask, so... You just take it out and it looks lovely. It's all slimy. And I don't know about you guys, but my eyes never fit. I always end up getting masks in my eye when I do a sheet mask. So I always open the eye area a little bit. That's why I like to use an eye mask as well as a mask mask. Because I know it's not going to touch that area once I rip those holes apart. Obviously, I normally do this in front of a mirror. It's a little bit easier than doing it in front of a camera. Stroke that on to make sure it's stuck down. <laughs> I look crazy. To all the correct areas. Next top tip <laughs> is to buy yourself one of these bad boys, a jade roller. You can get them anywhere. I got mine on Amazon. And roll that mask. Get all that nice juiciness deep into your skin. So I'll probably do this for five minutes and then kind of just chill for five minutes and let it all soak in. What I'll do is I will do this and I'll be straight back to reveal the beauty underneath. Okay, let's take this bad boy off. Uh, oh, I came with it. <laughs> okay, so after the mask, as you can see, there is a lot of residue on my face. I just throw it in. Rubby, rubby, rubby. So you're actually meant to rinse this one off, right? So you're meant to massage it in for five minutes and then rinse. So I'm gonna massage this in for five minutes and then I'm gonna rinse my face just with lukewarm water it says and then I'll be back again. Okay, so I washed it off. Um, I didn't use anything, I just 
splashed a little bit of water to move it around and move it kind of off my face. I think it's just creams now. At night time I would normally use a serum but I've actually run out of it and I didn't buy one in time. Um, I would normally use the Kiehl's Midnight Repair, you know the, the blue one. I'd put that on now if I had it but I don't so. We're gonna go in with eye cream. The eye cream I use is the Clinique All About Eyes, the rich one. I think you get a normal one and a rich one. Could be wrong but this is the rich one if you do. Um, and it reduces circle and de-puffs. look like this. Actually, nearly out of this stuff. Um, as you can see, I do quite like it. So you just want to take a pea-sized amount and using your ring fingers, I just warm up the product. And then you want to tap it in to your skin. You don't want it too near your eyeball because the heat from your eye will actually draw the product in so you don't want it to you don't want it to get into your eye but you do want to get oh, that delicate skin that delicate eye skin. I never rub an eye cream I always just pat it very lightly because it is your eye skin is really sensitive that's why there's different creams for your eyes and for your face. I also like to pat just a little bit under the eyebrow and a little bit over the eyebrow. Because I'm bougie like that. And also you should start from the outside going in. So most of the product is on the outside and not on the inside. These are just things that I've picked up and I've looked up and researched. So I'm hoping they're right. But like I said, I'm not a dermatologist or a skin expert. So if you have differing ideas, then please just let me know. because. I would like to know too. Now I have two face creams. This is a specific one. Again, it's a Korean brand and um, they're called Claire's. This is a midnight blue calming cream. Now this is again for redness. So it's pretty instant and it's also a pain to get because it comes all the way from Korea. So I tend to kind of keep this for when my skin is acting up, when I do have really red, red, redness. And just now, I don't, it's not that red. It's a little bit pink, but it's fine. I can deal with it. It's not the weekend, so I don't want to make it disappear. So I'm going to save this for another time. Therefore, the cream that I'm going to use today is the Ulla Hendrickson Truth C Rush Brightening Gel Cream. Mm. It looks like this. This stuff. Oh my god, it smells incredible. You could almost eat it. So I just place a few bits around my face and massage it in. Try and get my neck because that is really not wanting to defy gravity these days. It definitely does what it says on the tub because it is brightens up that face. It's vitamin C rich, I'm pretty sure. It smells like oranges, so I'm guessing. I think that's the right vitamin I'm thinking of. And yeah, it's amazing. It smells delicious. It feels amazing. It looks incredible. It's not even that expensive. So I highly recommend. Yeah. There's one more thing that I do a couple of times a week. It's not skin, but it is eyelash. This is my holy grail. If you are looking to lengthen your eyelashes or thicken them, mostly lengthen I would say. This is, like I didn't think anything like this actually worked. Um, it's the Revitalash Advanced Eyelash Conditioner. It'll look like this. This stuff isn't the cheapest. I think the cheapest I've ever managed to get it for was £50. I think it retails at 75 Just now I'm pretty sure it is 60 on allbeauty.com .co.uk. I was looking at it today so that's how I know. Um, but it works. It Like just read the reviews. It definitely does work. So if you're looking for something that does that then give this guy a try. Just buy it once. You'll carry on buying it. <laughs> Basically, it comes with a little 
applicator. You basically just put it along your lash lines top and bottom. I actually used this this morning, so I'm not going to do it right now. Then my final step would just be good old Vaseline. I don't put Vaseline on every day if my lips aren't dry, I don't use it because you know, using it every day can encourage your lips to actually become even more dry. I love the cocoa butter one, that's what I'm using just now because it is winter and my lips are bloody dry. That's us. That is the skincare routine completed. Obviously, I don't do all of those steps every single night. Um, I only tend to use a mask once a week and I only exfoliate three times a week, two or three times a week. I don't normally tone and exfoliate together unless every toner I've got seems to be an exfoliating toner. I think you do get just normal toners. In that case, I would. But I don't tend to exfoliate and tone at this, on the same time at the same time. I do do the minimal steps twice a day. In the morning I do cleanse and moisturise and at night if I'm exfoliating I will cleanse, moisturise and exfoliate. But yeah, I do do it te um, 10 times a day. <laughs> Who got happy? <laughs> I do do it twice a day. Except on the weekends sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I don't. But yeah, that's us. My skin is, I would say, glowing. I would say this is a glowy skin. I'm happy with this. I, I'll go to bed happy with this skin. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you had an amazing new year and I wish you all the best for the next week. I'll see you again in one week for the next tutorial. Probably will be makeup next time so come back. If you haven't already then please hit subscribe to the channel. I do makeup tutorials and things like this every Tuesday, so if that sounds like something that you would like, then please hit thumbs up, hit subscribe, put on post notifications, I'll probably put a picture up of this look if you want to see it, it'll be on my Instagram, I'll leave the handle in the description, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, happy new year, and I love you all. Bye! Glow. Glowy skin. Glowy skin, glowy skin. Okay, so what have we done? Ugh. Oh.